Hello one more time my friends. The few friends that I have on YouTube. Hey. I've used this computer before with a with a quad core processor. Running on 266 speed. But I bought a I bought it like a refurbished motherboard. ASRock refurbished motherboard that actually didn't even have no backplate that I bought from 3B Tech. Well, they, I think the eBay and all these other companies put 3B Tech and the geek computers and all the people that sell computer parts back in the days. Well, they're not there no more, so I guess they got taken out by eBay and Amazon and so forth. So now, since it went bad, I'm going to build another one. But I'm going to put it in the same box. I don't care about no fancy stuff. Because everything that I put in here is going to be updated. Plus, I have made this box. And you see the fans in there? A fan that's right underneath the hard drive. A nice Seagate that I have in there. And I got a 550... 550 uh, watt power supply. That should be enough to power up a, a mid-range uh, video card. Maybe around $100 or something like that. Because I'm not into heavy stuff. I'm not into heavy editing. But this, I want to build the i5 computer, third generation, running on 22 nanometer chip. See, I want to put new stuff in here. I don't worry about this old stuff, you see? Mm -hmm. I'm taking this out and I'm putting a new card reader in there. That reads 3.0 and 2.0. I have a Sony burner, which is okay. I'm, I'm not into no heavy stuff. And, uh... I have a motherboard here. It's an MSI for i3 and uh, i5, i7, third generation, fourth generation, i5, third generation, i7s. So I got this. This RAM, eight, four gigs each of bull ballistics. RAM, it's, it's, it's not really a fast RAM. It's DDR3 RAM running on 1066. They got RAMs now running on 16, 1800s. More than that. They got chips that you could clock up to seven point. So seven gigs. You need a cooling though. So I'm not into none of that stuff. Those are heavy gamers. Where they have two video cards. Of, uh, $600 video cards each. Bridge together. And those are heavy gamers. That Xbox and none of those games that they sell for four or $500. Not even Sony. Computer games could get next to these monster. Monster builds that these guys make. Anyway, I'm just building this, this little uh, i5, third generation i5, running on 22 nanometers. And I'll get back to you later on. I'm waiting for the chip. I already got all the parts. I'm waiting for the chip to arrive so I could put this together in one, two, three. Finally put this together, put everything in place. I added, okay. I cleaned the box up. I added a new car reader, 
sí. S3.0, it has uh, all the different card readers. It's good for editing, you don't have to go through a lot of stuff, you know. So, see? The box is all. I did it my way. I'm gonna cover this here, or I, I might add something. Another expansion bay. I might add something here, I don't know. Something else. Last switch. So, if you have a little ingenuity, I guess you could you build a you could build a pretty good system pretty cheaply. Not really that much money. If you come to look at it. Hello folks, one more time. This is the second half of the video that I made the first time. I am upgrading my uh, my computer desktop. So the way I'm gonna put a, a new one of these. I have I have this this case. I found this case in the junkyard like nine years ago or eight years ago. I'm gonna put a new uh, car reader, a nice one. I had a quad core duo, a quad core duo in here. And uh I know the, the motherboard I had a, a use or refurbished ass rock motherboard. And uh I had bought that in, in a in a place called 3B Tech when I first started building computers. When I first started to learn. And uh it got messed up so I uh I figured, what the heck, I have a nice power supply, I have the fans, I have a fan, this might look like an old beat up box, but who cares, I don't care about the looks, it's what you have inside that counts, you can't read, you, you know, people read the book by the cover all the time, you see, they go by looks, they go how, how nice a person looks, they don't look at the inner, in, in the inner soul, you have to look at the inner soul first, and then worry about the looks, but looks don't get you nowhere, but Maybe a fun, some fun sex, and that's about it. Well, anyway, to get back to the to, to the to the to the topic of building this computer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it to an i5, uh, third generation i5, running on 22 nanometer. The chip is not that old. The last shipment of the ship of the chip was in 2015, so we we still go with that. A third generation uh, quad core. Yeah. So I, I have the motherboard here. Right? I showed you before the motherboard, the RAM. I was waiting for the chip. So now, I just got the chip from eBay. I bought the chip for $55 on eBay plus retail shipping. And the motherboard I paid $45 for. On eBay too. So now, all I have to do is switch motherboards, RAM, and that's it. And my little cheap radio card that I have here, I don't really need it because this has HDMI. See, has HDMI and all that. So, but I want to put that little extra video card in there little cheap old that I have and uh, we should be able to do uh, some light editing with this some light video editing because uh, it, I could do heavier video editing if I get a, a, a video card and a nice like a nice $200 or $150 video card I could do more decent editing with it but I, I'm not into it, the big heavy stuff just family photos and pictures and family videos that's all and um stuff that i might find in the street people or something that might look interesting and i might want to upload it to 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 youtube to share with the other folks out there so anyway folks man it's a lot of problems coming that's all i can say
This, 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 this world doesn't look too good. It doesn't look too good at all. Anyway, I'm going to put some thermal paste in there on that chip. And I have the RAM. Over here. See, I couldn't find the thing to the tripod, so now I gotta work with my hands and all this stuff. And I don't have nobody to help me with the camera, so give me a second, please. text so ran I bought them a few years ago it's, it's four gigs each each each, uh, each lot so now we're gonna open this this lot see Now we're gonna put the chip in here. Give me a sec. Okay, folks, I think I had this on the wrong mode. So I must have lost, maybe you lost me sometime. This is the second half to this video. And, uh, we're gonna add, we already added the chip. I already went to a lot of discussion, but I don't know if I had it on the right recording mode. Anyway, to make a long story short, a long story short, excuse me. I'm just gonna go through this as quick as I could. So now, excuse me of the, 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 the camera, the way it's moving around. I'm doing this alone, all by myself. And I don't have help right now. And I couldn't fix my tripod. So I'm just going to do it the best way I can and see what happens. So I'm going to add some thermal paste on this. So a little thermal paste. It's kind of hard to come out. thermal paste on this and then we're gonna put the fan on it <coughs> sorry folks but I have to do this the best way I could now you see this fan this is the heat fan take out the heat so <coughs> I'm gonna add some thermal paste on there on the motherboard on the motherboard chip and I'm gonna add some heat sink to the to this back not too much just a little so now we added some heat sink to this so we're gonna snap this case back down this slot like a mousetrap mousetrap pin okay 
Okay, so now you have to be careful when you when you install this fan when you clip it in because sometimes they if, if you're not careful you, you might bend the pins so I suggest that you be careful and gentle and align the pins just right Actually, it's, you're supposed to snap it in. You should just snap it in. And, and it should snap in the back. So when I finish snapping these fans, um, this fan back up, when I snap it in place, I'll, 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 re, I'll come, I'll get back to you. <coughs> can't do it like this, I don't have a tripod. Okay, so <coughs> sorry. Okay, so now we put on the uh, the, the the chip, the R5 chip. We put on the fan, and we put on the RAMs. Now remember, this was a, this. I already had a computer in here. I had built this already. I, I had I had a, a core, a core, a core, a quad core, quad core dual. It's what I had in here. It went bad, so now we're doing an upgrade. So the chip cost me fifty-five dollars, and the board cost me forty-five dollars on eBay. Free shipping and everything under a hundred dollars. I'm gonna upgrade to a pretty decent computer, just four hundred bucks. That's not bad. So we're gonna put this. We already put the back plate. Okay. Put the back plate to the motherboard. This the wire for one of the fans. The exhaust fan. So now I'm gonna slip slip it in there. Like that. See? Slip it right into the to the so that's how it goes. I don't want to get some some feedback on this camera movement, but I'm sorry, folks. I just want to do my best I could and give you a quick idea how you could upgrade your computer real fast, real quick, for less than a hundred bucks. That's not bad. I mean, if you already have your stuff, I mean, I already had the the hard drive, 500 gig Seagate. Now, remember, I found this box. About eight years ago, and I and I, but I hooked it up though. I fixed it up, so I put a fan right underneath the hard drive. Keep it cool all the time. Got an exhaust fan here. Remember, this is a, a 22 nanometer. The, these chips don't overheat that much. Not like the 32 nanometer of first and second generation chips of I core chips. Those are heat up. Those those, 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 those had problems. But these 22 nanometers, we're already. I think we're on the 14 nano, going on the 10 nanometer. So it's a lot of stuff ahead, folks. Be prepared. Well, folks, we position the motherboard inside the, the box. Like I said before, I found this box. I'm not worried about the fancy looks. Look at these monster looking boxes. Because the looks of the box is not gonna get me the results that I need. What gets me the results that I need is the equipment that I have inside. The box doesn't do anything but hold the equipment. So, with that said, you could just find any box, any computer box, and get a motherboard on eBay or Amazon, wherever your favorite place may be. I'm not advertising for none of them. They don't pay me nothing. But whatever your, your favorite computer store is, maybe New Wave, Gig, whatever. You get a motherboard, you get all the stuff in, and if, if you don't know how to do it, find a friend that does, or if you know how to do it, then it should be simple. If you don't know how to do it, go on YouTube and learn how to do it. If you have, if you have a little skills, and, and you know how to, 
how to be careful you, you won't burn stuff that you won't burn nothing up you know um, make sure that you touch the box discharge yourself all the time and I put on a rubber band a special uh, rubber band they sell that you attach to the box and you keep yourself grounded all the time now with that said I'm gonna put the screws in I'm gonna attach the power supply this is a biotech that I bought a while back so 550 watt 550 watt that should be enough for me I'm not into no heavy gaming or any of that stuff just like like video editing it should be all it should be fine with this uh, i5 so we're gonna put in the the motherboard plugs connectors however you like to say it I'm not a proper I don't speak proper um, computer language but I do just fine and now we're going to attach the SATA connections one goes here to the hard drive then we have another one that goes to the to the DVD player or the writer or the burner however you like to say so now let me do this and I'll get back to you hello folks one more time well I'm starting the new year off by uh, building uh, upgrading my my computer that was a uh, uh, it was a quad core quad core dual and I got it got damaged so I I'm just gonna upgrade it to a i5 now the last the last video I made I couldn't finish the build because the motherboard was no good I, I bought it on eBay and I couldn't find another motherboard for a while for a couple of days because they had some but they were kind of expensive so I, I went to um, Amazon and they sent me one pretty quick I found one for 50 bucks a motherboard that accepts third generation i5s so I got a 3470 something like that I'm gonna open up this box right now. I just got I just I just sent my son to pick it up downstairs. And they called me that I had a package. So see, it's important how they pack stuff up. You see how they packed it up? They put the foam inside and the, those foam pellets. We sparked up the board, I mounted the board and the CPU before I did any other work, but that's what I did the last time. I mounted everything, put all the screws in the motherboard and without testing it, then I had to take it all apart and reship it back to eBay. And the client from eBay, the seller, asked, asked me that he wants proof. That's how stupid he was. But I'm just a mechanic of the I'm not going to that. I'm why are you doing that, man? I'm doing a bad video. Why you come over here doing that for? My son felt like a clown now, so he came over here and started talking nonsense. I know clown, okay? Well, I finally low, um, mounted the board inside the, the case. I had a hard time because the wire to the fan, to the case fan, it was too short. So 
so I had a um, extend the wire and solder and splice and do a lot, a lot of stuff. So I had to update the, the BIOS on the board. Right now it's loading the system as you can see. And uh, so it's a poor man's it's a poor man's build. But the poor man has knowledge. So his knowledge doesn't make him that poor no more. Because although it's a poor man's build, it's a very good build. It's, it has a, a, a third generation quad core i5 processor. Turbo boosting to 3.6, running on 3.2 gigahertz. Megahertz or gig, whatever you want to call it. I'm not too uh, computer word savvy. But I do pretty well. And uh, for a poor man, it's not bad. I, I picked up the board in eBay, and not eBay. eBay sent me one that was no good. Yeah. I tried to send it back. They gave me my money, and I ordered another one in Amazon, an Intel board for an Intel processor. But Intel boards are cheap. But they have good, they have expensive ones. But you get what you pay for. I'm not doing no heavy gaming. I'm not doing no, no, no uh, uh, deep editing or any of that stuff. I'm gonna do some light editing. I'm gonna get a light editing program. Uh, nothing uh, too light, nothing too, too strong. Just enough so I could do family videos and some YouTube videos like I'm doing right now. And that should do it. I'll get back to you later. I finally put this together. Put everything in place. I added. Okay. I cleaned the box up. I added a new car reader. See? It has 3.0, it has uh, all the different card readers. It's good for editing, you don't have to go through a lot of stuff, you know. So, see? The box is all. I did it my way. I'm gonna cover this here I, I might add something another expansion bay I might add something here I don't know something else I switch so if you have a little ingenuity I guess you could build a, you could build a pretty good system pretty cheaply not really that much money if you come to look at it well folks as you can see we downloaded the OS into the system seems to be working fine it seems to be working pretty fast because I still have to load some more stuff down here. I have the movie maker. I edited this, I edited this on movie maker. I watch all my news, fake news and good news. 
was my art tunes yeah. RT. because as long as they were mixed with the people learning the language and the children going attending the same schools everything seems to be good with this eh? I got word in here 2013 word I put in eh? I got a few things in here that I'm going to work with. I got my web bites. professional in here with my key with my professional key I was able to still upgrade you could still do it if you have the the OS on a stick or a CD you could still do this if you know how to do it Good. 